Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, today I wanted to talk about a subject, uh, why rents are rising. They're definitely going up. Um, you probably are saying, well, I thought we had a housing crisis and there's all these houses uh, on the market and the government's going to help us by like taking them from us and renting them out. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, first I'm going to explain why the the, we, we rents are going up them explain why that's a really bad idea okay so first of all um, rent rates is just a result of supply and demand it's essentially supply of housing demand for rents by tenants okay well we have the supply of houses hasn't changed we, we have the same number of houses we've had in the past okay there new builders aren't building new ones we're not tearing any down the, the housing market is the housing market okay what's happening is we have less homeowners we have more tenants. We have more tenants naturally means they have, um, you know, there's more of them. So therefore rents are going to go up because people are now going to, you know, there's, it's easier to rent houses out. You just raise the rent a little and you still get a tenant. But you're probably saying, well, wait, but aren't investors buying these same houses and just re-renting them? Yes, but remember, there's, there's an inventory of houses, a lot of them, that aren't even available um, because the banks can't foreclose or they haven't foreclosed because of pressure from the government. So the government is helping us by not letting the banks foreclose, but then in turn, we now don't have a house we can rent out. So the government's going to fix this, okay? And the, what the government's going to do is they're going to take these houses from the banks, I guess, I don't know that they weren't specific, and they rent them out themselves, the uh, houses that aren't in on the market. And that causes a couple problems, okay? Here's problem number one, the biggest problem. If you're a homeowner, you're trying to buy a house, and you've been looking around, writing offers with your agent, and not getting and getting outbid by these cash investors, it's going to get worse because now the cash there's going to be less houses available. If the government takes houses that are available, and in Las Vegas we have between two and three months of purchasable inventory. So if the government comes in and takes any any more houses um, from us, what's going to happen is that homeowner who's trying to buy a house is not going to be able to buy a house because some investor is going to walk in and go, oh, they'll get an FHA loan, I'll pay cash. And, the, and the, whoever's selling the house will go, well, I'll take the cash offer because, you know, gosh, that's cash. You know, I, you know, I don't have to wait 40, you know, five days or two months for a loan. They can just close in a couple weeks and get my money. So investors are going to own the marketplace. Homeowners will be shut out um, and no one's going to benefit. Okay, so the government will own the houses. The people will be paying rent to the government. Investors will just go buy up the rest of the houses that are available, and homeowners, people who want to buy a house, will be totally shut out. You know, it'd be different if we had like a year's supply of inventory, but we don't. We have a very small supply of inventory here in this market. Other markets in the Southwest are the, are the same way. Um, that's really the basic reason why rents have increased. It's just supply and demand. We have a lot of tenants and not a lot of houses available. Um, it will work itself out on its own. Uh, any interference from outside sources at this point are too late and aren't going to help. That's just my opinion, and um, that's why that uh, um, you know if you're having a hard time buying a house as a homeowner, that's the reason why. Because rents are going up and investors are excited because they're making money. So uh, that's my update, and hope to see you on a future video. Thanks.